what's good youtube welcome back to the channel it's time to face your fears as of 2024 or whenever you're watching this 2150 who knows everything that you've been avoiding dreading over i want you to conquer your fears that includes uv unwrapping no god please no no so in this video tutorial i'll be taking you through the process and steps on how i uv unwrap my sneakers so let's hop into the video so the first thing we want to do is add a material with a uv texture to set this up all you need to do is new material Control t and add your texture now if you don't have node wrangler add-on go ahead and add it in your preference under add-ons all right so now you can see that we have an image texture placed into the mapping placed into the texture coordinate now once you have this all set up go ahead and hit new now you should have something that pops up that looks like this that's titles new image now what you want to do is go generated type and hit uv grid and hit okay so let's begin with the unwrapping of our soul so since this is a very simple model, unwrapping it won't be complicated, but there's one issue. How do we tell Blender where to cut the model? In order to tell Blender where to cut the model, we have to do it through an operation called marking seams. By doing this, you are basically telling Blender, this is where I want you to make a cut, which is actually simple. So going into edit mode, all we need to do is select a couple edges where we want to make our cut. Once we have our edges selected, hit U, mark seams now you should see the edges that you selected turn red now with that all set up we're ready to uv unwrap so in our shading tab we have the uv editor open and we have our shader panel now to completely unwrap this hit a to select everything u uv unwrap now because we marked our seams blender knows where to place the uvs for our model so now that you have the basics down packed let's move on to the more complicated pieces all right, so for the side panel, the way I UV unwrapped this the first time around was A, U, project from view, right? So this just unwraps it. So instead of marking the seam, it's like you're just putting the image directly onto your model. All right, so with the side paneling done, let's go ahead and move to the bottom upper. So let's go ahead and select that. Isolate it with the slash on the number pad. So what we need to do is select the top edges, the bottom edges, and also a slit in the back. Now this is very easy. Now, once you got those selected, it's the same process. U, U, mark seams. Then you want to hit A to select everything. And then you want to hit UV unwrap. All right, so you can see that we UV unwrapped it, but it looks a little weird. So this part is correct, and also the bottom is correct. But why is it giving us this? Because if we look right here, we have faces that are inside also. So what we need to do is select the inner edges too, because you have to remember that we do have some thickness to this. There you go. And with that selected, all you need to do is mark seam, hit A, U, unwrap. So one thing that we could do, the bottom soles are not that important. So what we could do is select them and hit Control plus to select all of them. And what we could do is just scale them all the way down. And just move them to the corner. Because what's really important is this right here, because this is all we're going to see. So what you can do is scale it up a little bit. So when you scale up your UV map, you make the squares smaller, which will give you a greater amount of detail for your textures. And when you scale it down, it becomes larger, which will give you less details. So let's go ahead and scale it that up until we got it. All right, with our upper bottom complete, let's go ahead and move on to our upper. So it's the same process. You want to select the bottom rings. Boom. Tops and slit in the back. Now, depending on what texture you're putting on your shoe model will really depend on how accurate that you need these cuts to be. <clears throat> so same thing, once we got everything selected, U, mark seams, A, U, unwrap. One thing that we have to make sure that we do is select one edge in the back and also an edge in the inside so once we select that inside piece you unwrap and now you can see that we have a better uv unwrap so let's go ahead and scale these pieces up so select them and just drag them all the way up 
and then slide them over. We wanna use all of the real estate that we have to get a highly detailed model. So let's go ahead and move on to the straps. I'm only gonna do one because it's the same principles. So let's go ahead and focus on the front strap right here. Now the good thing about the simple objects Literally, all you have to do is A, U, unwrapping it usually gives you something decent. All right. So same thing with the back. Select A, U, unwrap. All right. So now to the laces. Now, the way I worked around the laces was a little bit tricky, but let me show you guys how I did that. So first thing you want to do is let's, let's go ahead and isolate that. And then you want to select on the bottom faces with right here. Boom. So that's going to select all of them. And then you want to hit U, mark seams, A, U, unwrap. So this wrap was okay, but it wasn't going to work for what I was looking for because I knew that I wanted the laces to be very hyper realistic. So in order to get that high quality detail, we have to scale this down. But one issue that I ran into is that vertically is just too long and the more i enlarge it to get a finer detail the more that is out of the range when you're exporting into substance if this is not correct you won't be able to load your model in let's scale that back down the way that i fixed this problem was just making little small cuts throughout the model so let's go ahead and select a couple of these rings So preferably you want to put the cuts where you're not really going to be able to see it from the camera's perspective. So once you've got your extra cuts, go ahead and you mark seams. Now you should get a different result once we unwrap it. Now we have an even distribution amongst the UVs. Now you might run into some issues when you're texturing this where it doesn't line up, but that's okay for the laces because the details are gonna be so small that it's gonna look uniform across the laces. So for the stitches of the shoe, because the geometry is so simple, all we need to do is you unwrap, we have something that's usable. So first thing before we even mark any seams, let's just see what we're working with. Okay, this is a mess. So instead of marking seam for this part of the model, especially because it's so small and it's not gonna be that visible to the camera all we're gonna do is hit smart uv project angle limit 66 hit okay and then you'll get a nicely broken down model it's not perfect but it definitely gets the job done all right so let's go ahead and do that for the bungee clip also so unwrap okay it's not it's, it's not terrible but what we're gonna do is the same thing you smart uv project there you go for the last couple things that we're gonna do is our bungee string. Now the same thing we did our laces is the same way we're gonna do this. So we're gonna select one, preferably on the bottom. And then we're also gonna select this ring right here. So once we got everything selected, mark seams, hit A, U, unwrap. Now the back tab is very simple. U, unwrap, there we go. Fear God symbol, U, unwrap. There you go. All right, so after completion of all the unwrapping, what I like to do is just go over my model and make sure that unwrapping is how I want it. If your unwrap is not good, that means your textures are not going to be good because they're gonna be all jumbled and all over the place. So once you've got all your UVs complete, one thing that we need to do is actually separate the materials because once we bring it into Substance Painter, if we just leave it on one texture, it's just gonna texture each individual model with the same texture. So what we're gonna do is just select each model and hit that and just rename it so you want to make sure that you hit this little icon and this creates a new material and you just want to rename it so once you got your uv set and your material separated let's go ahead and export this so we're going to select everything and we're going to go to file export wavefront obj and save it to your desired folder and your operator presets make sure to hit limit to selected only you don't really need to touch anything else maybe material groups and that's about it and then hit export and that is how i uv unwrap my sneakers now make sure you guys stay tuned because i will be doing a follow-up video on how to import your models into substance painter and fully texture your model to get a clean realistic shoe i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell all right guys have a blessed year